Who's ready to solve a murder mystery? Zero is. <laughs> uh, epic welcome, Zero welcome. Welcome to anybody lurking, anybody just coming in. <laughs> Air, you sat on that. <laughs> Thank you for the sound biddies. A murder. Yes, indeed. Last oh, time we left off on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Charles, thank you for the resub. I made it in time for some loathing. You did indeed, my dude. Oops, not that much loathing. Hold on, wait, other way around. Fade this music out first, then bring in the loathing. My corpse is ready. Charles, welcome back to the superheroes. Happy 43 months. Uh, ha happy 43 months from me, the Reginald. <laughs> What? No, Leroy. My name's Leroy. I can be Reginald Leroy, though, I guess. Um, so yes, previously on this game, we... Hold on, I'm just gonna get in here so we don't have to listen to cars. We, um, find ourselves amidst a murder. Um, we went to... <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's the monocle epic. It's the monocle. Um, you know, I, I full disclosure could have streamed with a webcam today. I legitimately just love being the stick man way too much. <laughs> it's the monocle. I can't not, I, I don't know. It's too cute. Oh, it's the must new mustache wax. Yeah, you know, I have been trying out a new regimen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thanks. Glad I'm looking great. Got the, uh, the adventurous mustache monocle combo I've always desired. Um, so previously we went to, oh, I forgot I could make notes, review my personal notes. Review your notes. Yes. Okay. Here's our to do. Oh yes. Bless Boggs. Um, okay. None of this is what we're here for. We went to this inn that this lady runs, um, it's always just full of salesmen. I don't remember why we're here, though. Anyway, uh, we learned that apparently there's been a murder in her inn. Um, the body is just missing, but there's like a fuck ton of blood and a missing person. I'm making a note here. I fucked up. I could make that note. I, I could make that note. Um, bless box. Yes, bless box is on the on the to do list. Um, we'll, we'll do we'll do that. A little later. Um, so we walked into this room. We've looked at uh, there's a massive puddle of blood and a occult ritual circle under the rug. Blobs of old candle wax and everything. So this is what we got to work with. The wardrobe's locked. The window is also locked. It's a mystery. Let's check ourselves for clues. Look, I can put on a little frown. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna leave it on this face. This is my serious murder case face. This is the face of the detective that that drinks uh, way too much and has divorced his wife. High-heeled shoes have be been carelessly left in the hallway. You're not sur sure which aspect of this would upset Mrs. Brewster the most. I'm not taking them. Make sure steps higher. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I am so... Throw those babies on. Yes! My determined murder walk! <laughs> stupid. The shoes of this game are so stupid. We oh, yeah, we fished in the blood. Yeah, 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 we did do that as well. We fished in the blood. Um, nothing. No, no blood fish today, apparently. Um... It'd be best if we report. Oh, okay. We'll report back. She's gonna she's gonna shit her pants when she sees me coming down the stairs like this. Madam, I have a report. Mrs. Brewster stands by the kitchen door, looking stern but frazzled. Strazzled. I am in a constant state of strazzle. Absolutely. We have our silly walk again. We have quite a few silly walks actually. We have this one. We have the uh, the heavy foot. Uh, shoes, shoes, shoes. We've got the heavy foot, the heavy boots. Real good stomping noises on that. Um, okie dokie, Eric, get you some sushi. 
Um, and then we have just the single shoe, um, which requires that we then use our arm <laughs> to walk instead. I really do think uh, this murder, though, calls for this this sort of tromp. Can you imagine? Imagine me, right? Mustache, monocle, uh, this beautiful hat, and then high heels. <laughs> and nothing else. Uh, Brewster's hands by the kitchen door looking stern and frowsy. Okay. Uh, I've had a look into room 3C, madam. Did you find anything? A huge pool of blood. It was really gross. Did you find anything else? Yes, actually. An occult ritual circle. What? Oh my goodness! You think it was some kind of black magic sacrifice? I'm afraid it's what it look it looks that way, yes, ma'am. Well, I've always felt a lodger's religion is none of my business. Uh but I won't stand for this one bit. Are any of your lodgers involved in the occult, do you know? Hmm. I do recall one of them specializes in selling occult supplies and paraphernalia, but I'm afraid I don't remember which one. You'll have to ask around. Okay. So now we can just knock on doors? Hold on. I gotta clean my glasses, and I literally cannot read a single word without them. I'm so blind. Okay. Uh, leaning back like that while walking with a head that is probably 10 times the weight of the rest of your body would cause you to fall off. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is, yeah. My head is the heaviest part of me. Uh, room 2D, but really they're all 2D if you think about it. Haha, <laughs> stupid. Uh, I'm warning you, I'm armed. Uh, oh, I know you. Yeah, I think we've met before. You sell, you sell Derringers, right? Ah, uh, that's right, yes, you should buy one. There's a murder on the loose. Actually, I'm investigating the murder. We ran into this guy one time on the road. He tried to sell us a gun. I should have bought it, probably. Um, I'm investigating the murder. Oh, thank God, somebody is. What do you know about the other salesman here? I know there's a guy who sells occult stuff. I'd give him a wide berth, though. All I know about him is that he doesn't live in the room below the sunglasses salesman. I see. Neither of them are the victim, by the way. Okay, thank you. Okay, doesn't... Hold on. Hold on, this is gonna call for notes, isn't it? Does not live below sunglasses. Does not. Okay. No response. Oh, hey, I know you. Oh, yeah, you're the guy that was selling pants from before, right? That's me. What's up? Want to buy some pants? Uh, not just now. I'm investigating a murder. A murder! I can't not say it like that. Big brain bro! There's a murderer on the loo? Oh, you think he's in the bathroom? Mmm, I see. He is big brain bro, though, to be fair. Um, not just now, I'm investigating a murder. Ah, oh, yes, the real grizzly business. Do you know uh, the other salesmen that live here? Not really. Just a guy that sells those Derringer pistols. He was complaining about the guy who lives to the right of him. That's the Trinkles and Bobbles guy. Because he keeps making a racket dropping stuff on the floor at night. Probably doesn't help you much, though. Okay, so wait. 2D is Derringer's. Okay. Uh, it's something. Thanks. 2B is pants. And 2C is bits and bobbles. Okay. Oh my god. What am I doing? Just, uh, uh an afternoon twerk. Okay. 2A. Who is there? I'm not opening the door with a killer on the loose. I'm investigating a murder. Do you have any information that would help? There's a salesman here who specializes in cold stuff. That seems pretty suspicious to me. Which room is he in? I'm not sure, but he isn't the one above me. He lives at the same end uh, of the hall as the vic- He doesn't live. Okay, so does not live. Um, at the same end of the hall as the victim.
Okay. And this is 2A. He's claiming he doesn't live in 3A either. Okay, let's go upstairs. How many floors are there? Just the two. Okay. 3D. Isn't it? Uh, I'm investigating a murder. How well do you know the other salesman here? I don't know any of these guys, although I think there's a man who sells brushes who's neighbor with a guy who sells pants. Okay, thanks. Okay, wait. Okay, so 2A must be brushes. Because he's next to pants. 3C is the murder. 3B, 3C, murder. And 3D, question mark. Change of plans, bathroom emergency, requiring a trip to Home Depot before they close. Oh, oh no. I'll try to be back before the end of stream. Oh, good luck, Air. Shouldn't have eaten all that spicy food. Air broke his bathroom. Um, 3B. Hello, who are you? I'm investigating a murder. Can you tell me about the people who live here? I pretty much keep to myself. All I know about the other salesman is the one who sells jokes and gags isn't the one who lives next... Isn't the one who lives next to the one who lives above the one who sells brushes. Oh my god, okay. The one who sells jokes and gags isn't. The one who lives next to. The one that lives above the one who sells brushes. If brushes is 2A, the one that lives above would be 3A. The one that lives next to 3A would be 3B. This is his fucking room. So he isn't the one who sells jokes and gags. Okay. How do you sell a joke and a gag anyway? Okay. Okay, this is sunglasses guy. Okay. Does not live below sunglasses. So it's brushes. Bits and bottles. Hmm. Mary's just quoting Friends episodes? I am? Uh, oh yeah, you're the sunglasses guy. That's me, baby. What can I do for you? I'm investigating a murder. Oh, no kidding? Yeah, I was hoping you can give me some information about the people who live here. Hmm, I don't really know any of these guys. There's a fellow that sells jokes and gags somewhere on this floor, I think. And there's a guy that sells pants. But I can tell you about... All I can tell you about him is that he isn't the guy right below me. Sorry. Yeah, because that's brushes. Okay, um... Somewhere on the floor, someone sells jokes and gags. 3B said it isn't him. Which leaves 3D to be jokes. We have to assume everybody's telling the truth, which kind of sucks. Uh, the murderer doesn't live on the same end as the victim, though. I think that means it's 3B. Because we don't actually know what he sells. It was the salesman that lives next to the... The brush salesman lives next to the pants salesman. Okay. This is like a crazy logic puzzle, and I'm so here for it. Excuse me, Rooster. Who lives in 2C? They didn't answer the door's locked. That's because 2C is my room. Well, can I have a look inside? Certainly not. That's private. And you can't possibly imagine uh, I would kill one of my own lodges. That would be terrible for business. I guess you've got a point there. Okay. 2C is her room then? Hold up. Hold up. We need to redo our chart here. 2A. 2B. 2C. Mrs. What's her name? <laughs> Brewster. Okay. We know for a fact that sunglasses is 3A. 
because we've met him. 3B, 3C is the murder room. 3D, okay. We know for a fact 2D is Derringers. And we know for a fact 2B is Pants. I sound like a crazy person right now. Um, okay. He said brushes is next to Pants. The occult salesman doesn't live in the room below sunglasses. So cannot be occult. They're both still alive. 2C. That oh yeah, that was her room. Never mind. Um, 2B. The guy who sells derringers lives right underneath the guy that sells trinkets. Derringer is 2D, so trinkets. Trinkets has to be B then. Hmm. The guy who sells occult stuff doesn't live above me and doesn't live at the same end of the hall. It's coming up 3B. It's got to be 3B. The one with the dot 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 is how every title starts. Really? Man, I it's apparently been like a long time since I saw Friends. The salesman who sells jokes and gags isn't the one who lives next to the one who lives above the one who sells brushes. I think it's 3B. Because it can't be the same end as the victim. And everybody else has a room. <laughs> hey, Dethanar, welcome. Hello, hello. I figured out who the occultist is. Maybe if we confront him uh, with it, he'll either confess or give us use usable information. Uh, are you certain you know which one he is? I won't have you accusing the wrong fellow. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, shall we gather everyone together at the scene of the crime so you can do a dramatic reveal like in the novels? Uh, sure, if you want. Hey, I'm Probs. Welcome. How many shadows have we loathed? At least seven, because I've died seven times. <laughs> uh, I must say this whole murder business is simply dreadful, but it is most interesting. It's the most interesting thing that's happened in years. Uh-huh. Um, you head up to 3C. After a few minutes, Mrs. Brewster meets you there with all the salesmen in tow. All right, well... I suppose you're all wondering why I've called you here today. I assume it's so you could tell us who did the murder? Yeah, that was my guess too. Uh, yeah, right, yes. Right, yes. Um, well, as you can see by the wheeled circle on the floor, the killing probably had occult significance. Therefore, the most likely candidate is the occult goods salesman who is the man in 3B. Oh, wow, look at his hat. <laughs> What? No, I mean, I do sell occult supplies, but this isn't even one of my circles. Are you actually accusing me of murder? I like his hat. Can I have his hat? Please, I want his hat. Um, I think you're the only likely candidate. You're crazy. You're crazy. Tell it to the cops, but suddenly the door flies open and a salesman pops out. Ha ha, I fooled you all. Pretty good. Oh, no. What the? Who the heck are you? I am the victim. I sell jokes and gags and stuff. Oh, no. How do you like my new fake giant rubber pool of blood? Isn't it a scream? What a fucking plot twist. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Boots. Uh, here, let me give you something for being such a good sport, kid. Wear it in good health. You got Foots Ring. Um, the Foots Ring. This ring bears the insignia of the Fraternal Order of the Traveling Salesman. Which is, uh, difficult to make out because of its small size. But it might be a farmer's daughter? Makes you more likely to encounter traveling salesmen. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to roll this blood back up. And nine people in this tiny room is eight too many. <laughs> oh my god. 
god. We shall get Miro a top hat with a pentagram? Yes. It needs to happen. I'll feel like a wizard and a, like a dark magician all at once. Well, that could have gone worse. The occultist gentleman was quite offended by your accusation, but I believe he'll get over it. Here's your pay, young man. Thanks. Glad to be of help. I'd say I'll call you if I ever need your services again, but I think one exciting thing happening here every few years is quite sufficient. If it happens again, I'll just throw everyone out. <laughs> Good idea. All right. Um. Oh, no. Shit, how am I going to change my face? I don't need my determined face anymore. Balls. Um, okay, I think we're done here. Um, let's see. Hold up. Hold on. We must consult the to do's. Take the snackle cakes back to Marvin. Who the flying fuck is Marvin? Oh no. Investigate Augustus's dirt house for evidence about missing cremains. What? Test out the dubious grenade the guys at Cola Wars Surplus Ocean City gave you. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Who's Marvin? Oh, no. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Oh, the kid on the mailbox. It's the kid on the mailbox, right? He's the one that wanted the nasty cakes. Mailbox kid. Marvin. It's literally labeled Marvin. Um, On the side of a discarded hot dog in the gutter, you notice a rare form of lichen. That's disgusting. Bring it out. Ugh. You squeeze the good, the good grease out of the lichen while carefully avoiding the bad grease of the old hot, hot dog. We got sorted grease. Hooray. <laughs> Marvin is the guy who got his face shot off? No, no, I don't, I don't think that's happened. Any luck getting those snackle cakes? I'm really jonesing for whatever it is they used for frosting. Yeah, I finally found some. Here you go. A hundred meat. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks a million. Here, take some meat for the cakes. And I'll also give you some sitting tips. Plus one moxie. Nice. You're so good at sitting down that it, uh, that you make it look even easier than it normally does. Perfect. Uh, thanks Marvin. See you around. Look at that. Moxie's up. We needed, like, a specific amount of something. To do something. Shit. I'm gonna go back to Snackle Mills real quick. Uh, fast talking salesman approaches you and starts his pitch before you you can cross the street and avoid him. Say there, would you like to purchase a set of encyclopedias? No, God no, hell no, absolutely not, or no. Um, no. I thought you might say that, understandable, understandable, but what if I told you that this were no mere ordinary encyclopedia? Don't you think that's something, do you think that's something you're likely to tell me? So likely as to be certain. Step a little closer, would you? You would. 200 meat. We'll grant an upgradable sleaze armor attack. Oh boy. This is no collection of boring facts. This is an encyclopedia of blue humor. A multi-volume collection of lewd and l levaciousness. Lash? Yeah, maybe. A trove of truly tasteless treasure. Uh, it's a set of dirty joke books? Precisely, and it's yours for the obscenely low price of 200 meat. Well, fuck. How can you say that when there's evidence? Oh, no, there's evidence? Oh, no, Marvin! I, I've only seen that movie the one time. If Boggs were here, he would have gotten that joke. Just now realizing that the character bobbing around in the corner is supposed to be Miro. Yes, yeah. It's me as the character, but also me in real life. I've really taken on the role of Detector Inspector oh, Leroy Jenkins. Man. Ah. Supposed to. Yeah, it's just always been me, Amp. This is the way I look. Have, have I not appeared this way to you since you've known me? Oh, it's the monocle. It's been fooling everybody. I, I, yeah. Um. 
A set of dog-eared paperbacks filled with offensive jokes. Somebody must have carefully assembled this set out of individual volumes found in filthy public bathrooms. Hmm. I don't know if this is worth it or not. 200 is a lot. You can tell by the paleness and the fancy mustache? Yeah, yeah. The paleness really has been there my entire life. Um, that's not new. You lost an insane amount of weight? You're like a stick now. I know, I know. It's a new diet regimen. It's a working wonders. It's uh, better than Weight Watchers. <laughs> I guess I'll buy it. The man takes your meat and winks at you and s as he stuffs it in into his pocket. Enjoy! He continues to stand there. Uh, aren't we done here? What are you waiting for? I want to watch you read it. Oh my god. Slowly back away from him. Okay, I think there was a fight in here that we could do. I don't know that it was worth it, but it might be worthwhile for me to, like, get buff. No, wait. This is two different sets of dudes. This is two different sets of dudes. This is actually two fights. Because this one had a door on the other side. We shouldn't joke about weight loss while Air is out there demolishing his toilet in agony. I actually picture what happened to Air as like him going into the bathroom and like leaning on the sink, you know, like you do when you have like a really bad hangover, just like leaning on the sink. Uh, and then it just like cracking off of the wall. That's how I picture it. Um, let's attempt to do a fight. I already regret this. Um, we do have to do these colas, so... Shake and throw. 10 physical damage, unless it malfunctions, in which case, who knows? Oh, lord. Great. Ugh. This is gonna be so bad. There goes my spider. My spider didn't even get a chance to make it out of the gate! No, turtle! That poor fucking turtle. I mean, it's gotta be done. It's a side quest. I don't... I have to do it. I'm gonna take out a doughboy. Uh, I guess I'll tong this asshole. Gabby, I'm gonna need you to level up faster, or we will literally not survive. Uh, if I do this, it will kill me. Oh, it worked that time! Nice. Probably should have healed myself, realizing that now. Um... Too late. Ouch. Nothing to do. What? What does that even mean? Okay, I probably need to heal myself, unfortunately. Um. And then I'll throw one of these. Nice. And then I will smack for three. It's not a lot, but it's 
something. Guys, I think we're actually gonna manage to do this. Gabby, no! no she's fine, what am I talking about? Um, don't jinx it! You're right, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't open my mouth. We did it! I got a freshly baked roll, a clammy dough glob, a dough boy loaf. Okay, all right. Increases your muscle by one until you eat something else. Uh, say what you will about the effects the doughboys have on the safety and prosperity of Ocean City, but you have to admit they they're pretty good at making bread. We did it! We did it, guys. Uh, clammy dough blob. Uh, it has always puzzled you that bread is so pleasant, given how unpleasant its ingredients are when you mix them together. Deals five sleaze damage. And then you got a melee weapon. This is literally a, a bread loaf sword. Okay. Perfect for making a combination club sandwich. Deals your muscle plus two damage. Wait, what? The turtle leveled up too. Okay. What do I have right now? This one is hot two damage plus two physical damage. Um... Hmm. This one actually, Moxie plus two plus bleed. That one might be the strongest one actually. Do we, can we read these? Yeah. Uh, the world's sleaziest jokes have been culled from the world's sleaziest toilet stalls. If you can stomach these, you there won't be much heaven left much left in heaven or earth that can scandalize you. Okay, not right now. Hold on. We, we had a goal. I don't remember what that goal was, but we had a goal. Uh, maybe not, because I thought it was that, but we've done that. Dude, eyesight. Um... Okay, maybe we can read it. Uh, I read that as Clammy Ding Dong? What the fuck? <laughs> clammy Toe Glob! Not Ding Dong. Great comedic drag name. That'd be a perfect, a perfect drag name. <laughs> ah, yes. Sunglasses over my monocle. No. Um, accessories. Hold on. Cufflinks is mysticality, which I think is what we specialized in, so we gotta keep that. Um. Oh yeah, the hunted duck call. Oh, we have new pants. Hmm. Tempting. Oh, we can take these off now. We're no longer working. Um. <laughs> Man. Turtle really is, uh, not great. Turtle is like a slow bandage. All right. Oh, I see. Okay, it is the same building, just, okay. Must be the boss's office since it's the only office. Hey, shouts one of the remaining dough boys. Get away from that door, muffin forker. All right, guess we gotta fight these boys too. What the fuck is that? Oh god. Nelson, for the love of God, heal yourself, you sweet bean. Um Alright, let's shake and throw. I think that thing's beefy. Um Reduce its moxie by three. Thirteen, fifteen, fifteen. I'm gonna go for this. I don't know what spooky damage does, but I did it. Uh. 
Um, it's probably not worth healing anybody right now, just yet. I'll take out a Doughboy, I guess. And then I will stab a man. Whip? What does that mean, whip? Whatever. Poor spider. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up, bro. He gotcha. Flap slap? Emit? Have I just never read this button? Fuck yeah, Gabby. No. No, Nelson, no. I gotta heal her because we heal each other, so. As much as that sucks. Um, I'm also gonna throw another one of these. Shit. Damn it! <laughs> it could have gone so well! I'll take out a doughboy. That doughboy was healing people, so yeah, he has to go. Nice, spider poison somebody else. Good deal. Okay. Um Nice. Man, we gotta take those dudes out. They're rough. Oh, How much AP do I have? Where does it say how much AP I have? Anywhere? Hmm. Um, he has six left. Okay, I'm gonna heal myself. And then I'm gonna... Stab this guy. Why did he make the spider noise? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have her heal again. I'm gonna take out the doughboy. And then... Stab this guy because I think his bleeding should take the other guy out. Right? What's he got left? Two? Hmm. I could be wrong. Keeping us alive, like, just barely. Alright, this should do it. Yeah, that bleed, if it stacks, that's- you're in trouble. You left those two boys in the dust? I think it's flower! Alright. I didn't think we could do it, but we did it. We are now stronger. The leader of the Dole boys. Oh no. Identifiable by the fact that he has a greasier hat and more rivets on his jacket than the other doughboys. If not by the fact that he's in the manager's office, doesn't notice when you enter. He appears to be focused on several large pile piles of wet bread dough lying on the ground around him. Weird. Um. Ew. You were interested in the history of Ocean City baking industry. The shelf of receipts would be a treasure trove. You are not. Um, the boss, Doughboy, has not taken notice of you yet, and he's probably not so dense that you can get any closer to him before he does. <sighs> Leader of the Ding Dongs! Let's approach him. What the? 
Who the hell are you? The ha Havla? Havla, you are you? Uh, Havla isn't really bred. Ugh, fine. Get the Halva out of here then. What's Halva? It's sort of a Chile Chilean flatbread. I feel like you're really scraping the bottom of the biscuit barrel with this one. Get out of here right now! Or I'm gonna be beat the crepe out of you! Oh, that's much better. Um, what are you doing with these piles of dough? Not that it's any business of yours, but I'm perfecting my recipe for bread golems. So I'm gonna be running this town. Oh yeah, you and what army? Me and my army of bread golems. Were you not listening? <laughs> I probably shouldn't let you get away with this. You'll be lucky to get away with all your arms and legs. Rise, my minions, rise! He waves his arms widely and the bread dough around him congeals into two large bread golems. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Thanks, turtle. Oh. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm going on the ultra attack here. That it was absolutely a heavy hit. It decimated me. Oh, these guys only have seven? Interesting. He has 20. He could probably just keep making those. What does the spider plan to do? A random enemy. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna get him to bleed. Oh, he's summoning a baguette! Ow! That baguette fucking sucked. Now he's poisoned and bleeding. Good job, spider. Oh no, not the turtle! Poor turtle, just gets smacked around. Ouch. Question the fighting ability of bread golems. Like, they don't have claws or talons. At best, they're toasty. You could tear them apart like bread. Uh, well, for me, who can't, you know, who has problems with gluten, they might, <laughs> they might do a great bit of hurt, actually. Surprisingly. Um, okay, I'm gonna stab one of these guys, I guess. Oh, does bread bleed? Can bread bleed? Damn, we're wrecking him. No, stop with the baguettes. No, my spider! We're done for! Does bread golems just die now? No, they do not. Okay. Not the bread swat! Not the spider! Poor spider. By the way, I like that turning on arachnophobia basically just gave me one extra party member and one extra enemy. F. It's me and Gabby. Me and Gabby till the end. Um. Bleed should take care of the other one. Well, or Gabby's fist will. We did it! Ciabatta pants! Okay. Uh, looks like those golems were only half-baked. Where, uh, what appears to be a pair of white pants is actually a pair of brown pants that are completely covered in flour. Nice, I need stuff for Mr. Callie. I will absolutely put those pants on. Pants. Ciabatta pants. Hurts my HP, but... Makes me stronger. Actually, what does the sword... 
The weapon that I'm using, what does it even go off of? Physical damage. Moxie. Moxie plus physical damage. Oh, well. Maybe I'll just keep these on then. Do we have anything that increases Moxie? I don't think we do. Stench armor, muscle, physical. Hmm. Is there anything in the dough? No. I question the morality of eating bread golems. Well, are they too human? 80 meat and a dough baby recipe. Ah. Pilfer through everything of value in the desk. Uh, you found a recipe for those little blob guys that the dough boys have as familiars. A dough baby. That says it was a quest item. Let's read it. This is the recipe for one of those little dough glob familiars the dough boys have. It calls for three cups of mana enriched flour mixed up in something called sandwich cream and baked in an arcane oven. Hmm. I do have some of that flour, I think. Four bags. Fancy foods. Oh, I can't make a dough baby. It's dough baby or nothing. Increase your bog bog bogity bog bogsy. Is that a stat? Um. Okay. So we hold on. I need to check my to do list. We gave this stuff to Marvin. Investigate Augustus's Dirch's house for evidence about the missing remains. Dirch. Where the fuck is Dirch? Well, it, let's go to the place labeled Dirch's house. We might find Dirch. Ah! Oh, phew. It's only you. Yeah, sorry. Did you change your mind about uh, purchase of one of my easily concealable professional defense weapons? Yours for only 30 meat. Deals your moxie plus two physical. Actually, that's not bad. Sure, I'll buy one. Thanks. You won't regret this purchase. Felt bad that I didn't buy one last time, so. Okay, we gotta search for cremated remains. Hmm. I don't if I remember right, he won't let us in. Okay. Do we have to decipher the rocks? Hmm. Not sure what to do there. <laughs> yeah, meat is currency for God knows what reason. Uh, excuse me there, good chap. Might you have a match on your person? Um. <laughs> lie and say no. Or say I'm sorry, no. Which is two lies. Or say no, but also yes. Jesus. Broken princess, welcome. Hello, hello. How are you? How's it going? Um, yes, but I might need it later. It's true. No, but also yes. Create a paradox. Let's do that. Uh, well, thank you all the same. Toodaloo. Toodle off. I don't know what good that did us. Um, hold on. What was my personal to-do list? Get the hobo to leave the park. Oh, I think we did that one. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna erase two as well because I feel like I did get good and that's how I beat the Doughboys, so. Um. Defeat the Doughboys in the snack factory. Okay, well we did that as well, we just did that. 
doing good. Hope you guys are doing good as well. We are. I am loving this game. Uh, have you ever seen it before? Did you see the first one at all? This is uh, Shadows Over Loathing, and the other one was West of Loathing. They're just, they're so good. Uh, get five mysticality to be able to read the gun handbook. That's what we needed points in. Okay. Find out a way to return my overdue library book. Oh, yes. Um, okay. None of those. Hmm. Where else were we supposed to defeat the boys? I think it was the factory. You barely have time to react as the ground shakes and shudders violently without warning, then bursts in a rain of earth as several large slimy tentacles force their way out of the ground, writhing and twisting and groping at their surroundings. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Incidentally, the reaction you the reaction you barely had time to make was ah <laughs> good. You played both! Excellent! Oh, they're so good. I'm just gonna fight tentacles. Um, okay, let's see. What can we do here? Eight, 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 eighteen. Jesus. The spider doesn't fuck around. Um, let's take the spider out first. That did very little. Um, sure. And then I'll throw another rock. Yeah. Uh, I am a cheese wizard, Broken Princess. The best, the best of the cheese wizards. Although I'm using a leaf right now, but that's beside the point. Okay, thank God. That thing hit hard. Go, spider, go. Take him out. Um. You know, she could probably just slap a tentacle. I hate that I hate that those words came out of my mouth. Go turtle go! He finally gets to do something. I'm so proud of my sweet little baby. A good chess whiz. Cheese cheese whiz. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The rocks plus those tentacles make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh hey, my turtle grows stronger. Good job, turtle. Uh, 5 XP, 16 meat. You won. They're gonna need 10 of those things if they want to tackle you. <laughs> oh, curious. Oh, you follow a trail of disturbed earth and cracked pavement from the place where the tentacles popped out of the ground to the place where presumably they popped in. And by presumably, I mean obviously, because that place is a house with slimy, wriggly tentacles poking out of all its holes. Did you have to phrase it that way? Tentacle house. Investigate the absolutely investigate the house. Uh, wow, are you sure? It, yeah. Okay, it's your super gross funeral. Listen, I haven't died once today. I'm doing fantastic. Either someone's pet crack and scraped, or someone opened a portal to the waggle dimension. Ugh. Oh my god, really? Don't judge me. Just let me in the tentacle room. It seems like this house used to be quite nice. Tall ceilings, nice wallpaper, fancy molding everywhere. Now, however, the wallpaper is peeling, the plaster, plaster is crumbling, and there's tentacles poking out everywhere. It's a real fixer-upper. Hello, anyone call for a tentacle exterminator? I don't think anyone called for a tentacle exterminator, but if you want to do some pro bono extermination anyway, I also don't think anyone's going to stop you. Well, except maybe the tentacles. Oh my gosh. How exciting. A small colony of roaches in the walls. Oh, this house is a real peach. Gross. Uh, I hate that more than I hate the tentacles, honestly. What's inside? Ah, yes. All the filth is inside. I guess that makes sense. You jinxed it. No. Truly welcome. I joined stream right when Mira said, let 
enemy in the tentacle room. Well, that's the perfect place to join. All right. Tentacles must have been in the mood for a snack. Give them an attack instead. No snacks, only attack. Oh, wow. Really fucked my turtle up. Damn. He didn't even get a chance to come out of his shell. Uh, okay. Well, this thing has to go first. Um, literally no contest there. How? How is it still alive? Oh, God. Why did it have to bounce all the way over there to do that? Yes, spider. Good job. Um... Poison your least poisoned ally for six. Interesting. Nice. Thank God. Uh, all right, then we just stab it. We're done. The tentacle house is nothing. Easy. The doughboys were worse than this. Sliced them and diced them. Exactly one drawer left. There's water here, and you have a fishing rod. Surely these things can be used together. Let's check it. Uh, a fuse and a match. Jackpot. It was a drunk drawer. You got the choicest bits. Fuse. Interesting. Allows various electrical circuits to work properly. All right, let's go fishing. Handful of dirty water. Hooray. Just wait. You'll see. Oh, no. That's so terribly ominous. Is there going to be a big tentacle? What? I caught a fish skeleton in the sink? Perfect. This fishing rod might be the best thing I ever bought. Chunk of moldy onion. You toss it in the fish sack. Gross. Uh, Alright. The, rich, rich, <laughs> the refrigerator... Almost certainly contains horrors beyond reckoning. Give me them. Nasty leftovers! We've had some of those before. Nice. All in all, a pretty good kitchen. Oh. Toilet is old and damaged, but it appears to still be functional. Yeah, let's flush it. Uh, the sink, it has a cracked bowl and a grubby tap. Investigate. Ring of universal health care. Medical Manchego heals your entire party. Look at that. Somebody lost a, a ring in the drain. Fortunately, your fingers are just long enough to grab it. Yo, that ring is powerful. Um. Yeah, that's going to have to go. That's going to have to go on. Manchego is a good cheese. I don't think I've ever actually had it. Did you ever watch Alice in Borderland? Um, I don't think I made it past like episode two or three, unfortunately, on that one. Uh, hmm. I kind of forgot it existed. That's unfortunate. Eh, I think I'm okay losing that. Consider it fished. Bathtub's full of a nasty liquid, but we're going to fish in it anyway. Oh, ew. Oh, this would be disgusting even if it wasn't wet. You unclog the drain, the tub empties itself with a nauseating gurgle. Gross. Yeah, that would reduce anybody's everything to zero. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. Glad we got that. Um, all right, let's get these tentacles. The first two are a bit slow, but it picks up. Okay, I'm going to have to give it another shot then. I have so many shows that I need to, like, pay very close attention to. Um, because they just straight up aren't in English. And uh, that's one of those. So it's going to take me a while to get through it, unfortunately. Twelve coal damage. Ludicrous. Nice. 
turtle. He never gets to do anything. Someday I want him to have a hero's redemption arc. Um. Well. I must have been boosting her before. She's not as strong as she was, so I think that ring must have had an effect on her. Nice. What else we got? Door is locked. Fine. A wire coat hanger. You aren't sure why anybody would want to wear a coat ma made of wire, but whatever. What good is that going to do? What is that going to do? Nothing. It does nothing. What? All right. To be honest, we should be able to combine the spider and the turtle. Oh, that would be fantastic, actually. Um, okay, bitch just... Put my spider on fire. Um, you know what? Let's mix it up. Let's be spooky. Let's be real spooky. I haven't seen spooky damage do anything spooky. A spurtle. Yeah, we need the oh, and the turtle's got again. We need a spurtle. Nice. No! I was gonna save him! Shit. A, a turt, a turter? A turter, that's really hard to say. <laughs> a turter. I'll just heal again, why not? Oof, duh. It's getting kind of hard. What does Sleaze do exactly? Besides wreck my shit. Move any bleeding. Hmm. I need just like a general healing thing, I guess. I could do this. Let's lick a battery. Yes. Oh, they have 12, huh? Oh, this one has 12. Elemental damage? Like fire. Okay. Okay. Um. She can hit for four. Let's take out one of them, I guess. Probably a waste of a heal, but whatever. I think there is in total fire, ice, spooky sleaze, and stench in the game. Yeah, that sounds like everything that I think I've seen so far. 
At least like armor wise and stuff. I don't know that I've come across stench damage, but I did have to have stench armor at one point. As is my sworn duty. Um, you can't even begin to guess what kind of furniture this was. Sure I can. It's a nightstand. Okay then, smarty pants. What do you think it was? Uh, I think it was a couch. Incorrect. Um, what about a beanbag chair? A curio. Guess again. A bassinet. A picnic table. A throne. <laughs> was it a cart? A patio chair. A captain's chair. Oh, hey, holy. A buffet. Uh, window shades. A, a lift chair? A bookshelf. Four poster bed. <laughs> a credenza? A dresser. Oh, come on, dresser's really close. A mirror? A hat stand. A hutch. A break front? What the fuck's a break front? It's a problem later on for sure. Oh, I can't wait. Easel. Shelf. Beach chair. Bureau. Is it gonna let me through at all? Tanzu. I give up. Told you you couldn't guess. Yeah, yeah. I did my best. Oh. A nightstand. This nightstand is mercifully tentacle free. Let's check it. Jewelry case. Oh, nice. And the tentacle house key. Uh huh. Top drawer is filled with a dirty handkerchief. Black. <laughs> uh, but you find some, a jewelry box and the key in the bottom. Can we open the jewelry box? Open. A portus. A what? A torque? Por porpoise torque? Type of necklace is called a torque because it stays on your neck due to torque rather than any kind of clasp or hook or whatever. What? Friendship ring. On the outside of a dog, this ring would look really good. A familiar's muscle moxie. Mysticality by three. Man, our turtle needs that though. Our poor turtle. All right. Oh, this is the piece of furniture we're trying to guess, not the drawers. Interesting. I got that completely wrong. Definitely not a break front. What the fuck is a break front? Doors barred from the other side. If the bar is anything like the rest of the house, though, it won't take much to break. We don't even we don't even have full muscle. How embarrassing. Um. No, we do have. 91. Unacceptable condition. Unacceptable. Teeth in our way. What's unacceptable? What happened? Thick layer of cheese under your skin insulates you from heat, also makes you look more muscular. We could get subcutaneous gouda. Hmm. Sure. Let's do it. We need the muscle, apparently. Can I do the door now? Yes. Thud, thud, crunch. Okay, it was a little harder than expected. Any piece of furniture, especially a bookcase or cabinet, that has a central section that projects farther forward than the other sections. Interesting. I'm trying to picture what this would look like. I don't think I can. Oh, finally, I get to change my face. Uh, termites have conspired to make this look like this wardrobe has one giant bite taken out of it instead of thousands of tiny ones. Ironically, this house's backyard looks really nice. This bed must have fallen victim to especially hungry bed bugs. Nice hand is battered, but mostly intact. Let's check the doors. Ooh, a creepy locket. The inscription reads, Melinda, my love. But the picture is just a crude drawing of a single eye. What the fuck? That is creepy. Um, oh, oh, there's horse track bedding forms. Top contains a wallet and a creepy locket. Each of them a minimal amount of crud on them. Old wallet. Maybe there's some meat left in it. Oh, fuck yeah. How much is in the meat wallet? 87. 
Not bad. I don't I don't want the the spooky locket right now. I needed to use some channel points. I'll DM you a pic. Okay, alright, wait. Wait, we have this picture now. Oh, okay, so just like a a fancy cabinet. Wait. Oh, I see like the middle section is all pushed out. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I forgot that we can jump for literally no reason at all. I have a bad feeling about touching this mirror. Like a really bad feeling. The mirror has to your great surprise avoid a damage. Look into it. Hi, Leroy. Oh, we can go back to smiling. Yay. All right. Guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Well, no more tentacles. Uh, we do have the key now to this, though. Let's head down the stairs. Oofta. It is dark. Gabby, is that you? Oh my god, that's scared the shit out of me. Slightly less dark. Fuck. Is that a person? Oh no, wait, it's an upside down rat. Dirtiest broom the world has ever seen. Muscle plus two physical damage and reduce target's muscle by one. Oh. Should I fight this off? <laughs> Should I? Should I fight this off with a broom? Welcome to the boss monster. It's a rat king. Oh, he's guarding some seeds. Holy dang, what is that thing? Let's fight it. Let's see. Let's see what we could do. Probably literally nothing. Oh my god. And the spider's dead already. <gasps> he lived? Oh my god, look at him go. Look at him. I'm so proud. All right, what do we got? Um, rat tentacle is going to go after Turt. That is unfortunate. Um, Turt will have to be sacrificed. Um, four. Oh, this now does four spooky damage. Hmm. Reduces its moxie, though. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do. The back bug! The bug in the back! Shit. Can you tap? You can tap through them. Okay, hold on. It won't let me get to it. I literally cannot physically fight it. Cool, 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 cool. Um... What, uh, what happened? Why can I only hit it for one? Five physical, five physical, one physical and bleeding? What is this nonsense? Fine, I'll go for this tentacle then. Thanks, thanks for the luck, I'm gonna need it. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, turd, I sacrificed you. That doesn't feel good. Poison something. Spider? Check its stats. Uh, oh, it's got armor. Oh. Yeah, that probably... That would do it. Can we get the bug in the back now? Shit. We should have turned arachnophobia off. Let's just get this. I can't attack that, so that sucks. Let's do a heal. Rocket Princess, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirrors Heroes. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. Um, I guess we just like throw everything at it. I mean, if we get get bleed stacking, it'll at least get a little bit ugly. Two whole damage. Look at me. Yes, poison it. Yes, that'll do. I would rather it poison the big rat, but I will take anything. Ouch. God damn it. Again. Ah. 
Time for another poison, or no, another bleed, bleeding, another bleeding. Oh no, there goes the spider. He never got a chance to poison him. Well, one physical damage it is, I guess. <laughs> Did it, Gabby. This is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way I can win because of that stupid spider in the back that I can't, literally can't touch. Oh, now I can, sure, okay. Fine. Let me heal first. Now I can get to it. It must have been blocked by the tentacle, question mark? Whatever's dead now. Now we can just wail on this thing. Um, I can't do spooky damage on it. I can't reduce its moxie, so that's something. How does its HP keep going up? Hmm. Got on them tentacle jeans boots with the creepy fur. Absolutely the creepy fur. How high can bleed stack, you think? Let's deal something to it. Um, let's fling this nasty glob of hair at it. Minus five to everything. Get wrecked. Oh, I wish I could feel like figure out what's healing it though. It's 20 or less for stacked. You mean I could stack this up to 20? That would be ridiculous. Oh, I can only use that skill once a fight. Oh, dumb. Well, I'll, I'll just uh, hit it for two, I guess. In later levels. Okay. I wonder what it's going to be now. Got nine. That's something. Why is this so slurpy? Nice. Bleed took it out after all. Uh, you won. Those tentacles have wiggled their last waggle. And that giant mutant rat. Probably in a better place now. All I got for that was 36 meat. What a fucking ripoff. Uh, there's a problem. There's a hole in this bag of tentacle seeds. Some must have fallen out onto the old dirt floor and sprouted. Let's clean them up. Tentacle seeds. The company that sells these things never has never done a satisfactory job of explaining why. Grow a tentacle to aid you in combat. Interesting. Okay, I will take it. Um, a washing machine that needs to be washed and repaired and completely replaced. What's inside? Mildew jeans, my favorite. These jeans are twice as thick as regular jeans because of an extremely serious buildup of mildew. Oh, gross. Oh. 
Oh, we can't fish in it now? Boo. Should have fished first. All right. I think we did uh, everything we needed to do here. What a good house. Um, shit, I think we're on our way to the factory. I already don't remember. Uh, an elderly man with thick glasses shuffles up to you with a determined expression. Before you can react, he shoves some meat in your mouth and opens your ear. Oh, this is the payphone guy. Oh, we read this one already. Can't believe you tried to use me as a phone again. All right. See here, boys. Man, was the was the fight really hard? We need five moxie. Hold on. Five moxie for a hundred bucks. What do I have that can do moxie? Filters for moxie. Nice. Oh, no, those go in the same slot. Shit. Okay, we could, like, do a food. Maybe. I don't remember what all these do, so. Okay. Um, food, 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 food. Muscle, muscle, physical armor. Um, potions? Spooky, ranged, stench, coffee. <laughs> Spooky. God damn it. I'm gonna go to the store. Aw, thanks for the licorice taffy. Uh, you know you're supposed to take the paper off first, right? What, the skin? This is where all the vitamins are. Oh, gross. Okay, let's go to the surplus and see. Oh, we have to return for the, the colas, any of the grenade things. Hello, how's the grenade project coming? I threw all six of them, three of them blew up in my face. Hmm, three out of six isn't too bad. I think I can still sell them. In exchange for your research, I'll give you a discount from now on. How much of a discount? 200 meat in total savings across all future purchases. Here you go. Seems like less of a discount. Less like a discount and more like a flat reward. Uh, I just don't like doing arithmetic. Is this me? All right, let's see what's for sale. Um. Physical. Item drops. It's an accessory. Okay, interesting. Muscle, physical. Dubious cola war grenades, question marks. Expired seltzer. Sleaze armor. Oh, I do want some of that. That could come in handy. Damn it. Oh, you know what? I'm buying that just so we can go take it to the guy that does hats on the coast. At the boardwalk. I'm going to go get a new boardwalk picture taken. Guys, I'm going to look so pretty. Um, hats, 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 hats. Perfect. Yes. Okay, that's literally all I wanted that for. Um, where does that go? Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, ba 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 ba. shoes. Hmm. Fedora is still the best, man. You just you can't top a good fedora. All right, let me see if there's anything at the first aid station. Cotton candy, gauze pad, and shit, tuba sunscreen. Oh, hey, we can finally do this. We can finally do this challenge. Uh, I like to start off, start newcomers off with something relatively easy. Guess my age. Throw a dart. Drive a nail and overboard. Okay. 
You aim the dart while winding up your arm for a hammer swing and squinting at the pro uh, the proprietor. Well, you look about 38, but pop, bang. You reek of cigarette smoke, so I'm going to say 34. Nicely done. Right on the money. Here's your prize. Some fancy new beach shoes. Crab clogs? Makes you look like a crab. No. <laughs> Why? Oh, my God. I love it so much. All right, we walk like this from now on for forever. Incredible. Um. Oh yeah. Complain about the price. Fine. Fifty meat. The first card tells us where you've been. The unreliable pediatrician. What does that mean? It suggests a tra suggests a tragedy in adolescence involving a treasure. A treasure. Hmm? Yeah, I do. I do, uh, look like Indiana Jones, so. Ah, yes, new stupid walking, this time with sound effects. I do like it when they have sound effects. Second card represents the here and now. She looks her thumb and grabs the top card. This is, uh, the Archduchess of Rods. Definitely a real card. This one means you're having your fortune told. Amazing. Last card reveals your future. Hmm, the three of bears. Very interesting. Huh, that picture doesn't. I see your future. I see buildings. Big ones, small ones. I see. Consider what just happened. You spend a few moments thinking about your tarot reading. Take your leave. That was a fucking waste of 50 meat. That sucks. Oh shit, talking to Gabby does stuff? Oh fuck. This is fun getting into fights. You like a good fight, Gabby? Yes, there is not usually so many fights around here. What an excitement it is. I noticed you do a lot of slapping. Do you know how to make a fist? A what? Here, look. You curl your fingers in like this and put your thumb over them here. That's a fist. Squeeze that tight and hit people with these knuckles here. It's more powerful than a slap. Wow, keen as a peach. Flappy slap now de deals three additional damage. We just leveled this girl up. Should we try to take on the fridge boys now? Uh, a man on the street does a big theatrical double take as you pass. Just wanted to get another look at you. Hey, whoa now! How's the weather up there? Up where? You're taller than me. Up, up on the property ladder. I almost can't see you up there. Huh? I live in the back of an antique, antique store. Gee whiz. Well, I hope to join you in the antique room, store room of my own soon enough. But a fellow like me has got to sell, sell, sell if he wants to be a pro uh, once in on the property ladder. Luckily, a uh, product I got nearly sells itself. What is it? Oh my god. What? Bam! That's a paper clap. Pa a paper clap? A paper clip. Is it ever? I just don't know if I need a paper clip right now. Guess your documents keep themselves from flying off in the wind. Guess your nose secures itself against wild odors. Um... I really want to do it. Yeah, it's whatever. Sure. <laughs> okay, I'll buy one. Ooh-wee! Do I detect a change in humidity? I must be chasing you up the property ladder. You didn't tell me the weather was this nice. Have a good day, my dude. Okay, so we can either <laughs> the crab walk. We can either shell at three hundred or try to beat him up. Ah, shit. Did we do what we were supposed to do in the basement of the church? I don't actually remember. Two goblins wearing shorts and suspenders and carrying. Uh, you know those things, those marching band things. They're like an upright harp, uh, except the strings. They have metal xylophone bars. Yeah, those things. Anyway, these goblins are carrying those, and they interrupt you. Hi, hello. Uh, hi, what's up? You're tr truding, trudging, on the territory of the Glocklands. Glo the, uh, the Glocklands Inn. Uh, am I? I don't even know what a Glockland is. V are Glocklands. V both. We are toughest all street gangs in Ocean City. But you think about it. Um. 
I guess you do look pretty tough. Oh, we can hypnotize them. That's true. We do it. Your uh, xylophones are pretty cool. Oh, they're glockenspiels. What? Xylophones? These are glockenspiels that we have. Oh, glocklands. I get it now. I am so outraged over you. I think we shall a mugging do. Nah. Mugging. How about if you mug each other? Okay. What? I hadn't even really started yet. This will be first first mug B, so good to practice. All right, <laughs> you <laughs> you will give me your wallet give, okay, and you will give me your wallet give, okay. The two goblins exchange wallets and then shake hands. <laughs> we have on our first day two mugs made. We the boss, we we must tell the boss about this. They will be very. They will be. Oh god, they will so proud be. The two goblins march away happily playing jingly victorious music on their glockenspiel. Alright. I avoided bloodshed. Look at me go. Excuse me, Gabby. I need to get to the church. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to... We're supposed to search for the urn. Okay, talk to Charles. And then Dirch. Okay, we gotta go talk to Charles at Pluckett Street. That's what we're doing. That's where that Dirch line, uh, quest line goes. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Let me just crab walk to town. Um... Long before you actually turn the corner, you hear two glockens playing their high-pitched, plinky glockenspiels extremely loud. By the time you actually get up to them, well, you're not totally deaf, but you wish you were. Ah, oh, geez, you two. Can you tone it down a bit? Ha! Tone it down, say you. What about if we tone it up? They start playing longer, but it's like if someone loaded a Tommy gun with pixie dust and then shot it through your ears. Let's give them a music lesson. There you go, guys. Look, friends, you're going about this all wrong. Don't you know anything about modern music? What's what's important is the notes that you don't play. What? What do you mean, notes we pl the notes play we not? I can see you have a lot to learn. You better start by practicing not playing any notes at all. Then, once you get good at that, you focus on learning which specific notes not to play. Hmm, I see this modern music is tricky... A tricky business is. The goblins stare at their glockenspiels, careful not to play them. As you leave, you hear one accidentally plink, followed by urgent shushing and apologies. Good job, boys. I knew you could do it. Oliver's Place uh, is a play on all over the place. Oh, Oliver's Place. Haha. <laughs> I, I didn't get that at all. All right, Charles. Hey, good to see you. We had quite the morning already. See that bookshelf over there? Just bought it. It's a real rare find, Leroy. Came from the 17th century cargo ship, the Mustflower. <laughs> wow, that's quite a proven, uh, province for a bookshelf. Yeah, it was the ship's wheel. Captain brought the Mustflower out of dock, couldn't steer, drove into a starfish. Whole thing sank instantly. Anyway, what can I help you with? Uh, I saw your name in a visitor's book at St. Polycarp's. Gargoyle charm. Uh, sure. I do a little whittling to pass the time now and again. And sometimes I go to St. Polycarp's to look at their gargoyles. Here, have one. He opens his dress drawer and tosses you a little wooden gargoyle on a leather cord. A little wooden gargoyle on a leather strap whittled by Charles Wallace. The base has the motto, keep on trucking, carved into it. Neat, thanks. Let me ask you something. Uh, Charles seems preoccupied. He keeps checking his pockets and his desk. Lose something, buddy? Yeah, I seem to have misplaced the chuck key to my drill. <laughs> What's a chuck key, Charles? A uh, twisty thing for tightening the chuck on a drill. Any idea where you lost it? Uh, I couldn't have gotten far. The cord on this thing got stuck in an outlet, and it's not long enough for me to drill anything that isn't in this neighborhood. Okay, I'll go look for it. There's a button on your map labeled Wander that will allow you to go random encounter without going anywhere. You can also 
wander while looking at the map of Plastic Space. Oh, interesting. Okay. That'd be great. Like I said, it's got to be nearby. Just wander up and I'm sure it'll turn up. All right. I think I feel like we we're supposed to do this a long time ago. Um, you pass by an alley where two women are wearing grease stained coat overall coveralls, coveralls, uh, and welding masks and are slouching against the wall sharing a cigarette. They glare at you as you pass. Hey, isn't that that bastard that Nickel Zoe was telling us about? Nickel Zoe. Uh, they lower their masks and snap their fingers. The tip of their index fingers spite with white, spark with white hot flames. The tin lizzies have mages? Oh, swell. Let's weld his tailpipe shut. Let's run on their parade. <laughs> Water in the hole! You grab a can of seltzer out of your pocket and give it a hard shake. You hurl the can at the welder's feet and it explodes in a fizzing torrent, drenching them and extinguishing their flames. You then decide to beat feet out of there instead of sticking around to see their reactions. Hell yeah, that's probably a good plan. Weld his tailpipe shut. That would be horrid. Horrid. Went to metal under a nearby bush. Hey, this must be the thing Charles lost. Charles Chucky. Nice. Charles, look. Look what I found. <laughs> I did not move at all. Look. I found it. Oh, yeah, thank you. Where'd you find it? Under a bush. Yeah, that's probably the bush I was drilling holes in the other day. What? Now, what can I do for you? Nothing right now, Charles. No messages. Um. Oh, the hunt for the watch. Uh, I think I tracked it down, but I need a bunch of meat to get it. What is it? Stuck in a gumball machine? Uh, I tracked tracked the owner t to the refrigerator warehouse, but I need to bribe some mob goons to get in. Oh, sorry, kiddo. I already gave you all the walking around money I could spare. Maybe you could just get some odd jobs somewhere. Gross. Any suggestions? Well, the city services is having a lot of trouble because of new hiring rules. Maybe you could get some cash at, uh, under the table at Goldwith Park? Right. Which table? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We already did that. Shit. Um, hey, it's that rug from the boarding house. Miss Brewster must have had it sent here as an additional gesture of gratitude. Or because she hates the way it, <laughs> way it looks and thinks it's cursed. Either way, score. Yay! Fancy rug! Look, guys, my room is really coming together. How nice. Oh, was there always a flower pot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely tenting, uh, planting a tentacle in my bedroom. It's your little tentacle, buddy. Tickle him. Tickle him. I love it. 10 out of 10. All right. Um, let me go in here again. I need to replace the seltzer we threw. Um, might as well. Might as well. Yes. <laughs> um, I have sixty-three. Okay, I have enough. Shit, I already don't remember what stat we needed. Let's just go over there to the fridge factory and see if I can remember. Um, you see an IRS agent through the window of a diner struggling with his paperwork. Pinch his cheek and keep walking. Uh, I can't fix this calculation, so I guess we keep going. Okay. It's Moxie. Moxie is three. Okay, we had something that could up it. Um, spooky armor, spooky armor. Moxie. Okay. And then... What goes it? Just double check. Seventy-five. No. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> well, let's go to the hobo camp. 
There's got to be more things that I can do. Oh my god, we got paid by the fucking old man who thinks I'm a payphone again. All right. Um, can you teach me some hobo code? Yes, according to the hobo code code, hobo hobo code code, I am, of course, obliged to resist, but first let me test you. Convince me of your worthiness and I shall grant you a boon. Bewitch. You want to give me a boon. You believe it would be in your best interest. Are you trying to hypnotize me? That won't work. My crown is made of tin foil. Oh, darn. Good effort, though. I don't know how you got your eyes to go, go all swirly like that, but it was impressive. I'll grant you the boon anyway. Ah, oh, yes, my very swirly eyes. Uh, King Johnny takes out a small notebook, writes a glyph on it, and hands you the page. What's this? The hobo code symbol for Boone. One of my favorite jokes. I wish I could use it more often. <laughs> Thanks. Alright. He still won't tell me his secret plans. He doesn't have anything for us. Okay... I love our grumbly little boy. Small titty. Uh oh. Oh, he wants a match. Um. Yes, but I might need it later. Hmm. You literally can either give or just not. Damn, I can't even take an extra cookie. I guess we could always just wander and hope for the best. You notice a pile of yellowish white grit in the middle of the road. You catch a whiff of it and identify it as muscle corn. Must have fallen off a truck uh, and then been run over by a series of different trucks. It's powerful stuff. You shouldn't let it go to waste. Cool. You carefully separate the corn from the asphalt. It's like separating wheat from chaff, but with a more modern spin on it. Great. Um, how much XP do we need? Like, okay, mm, 10 ish. Oh, Gabby's here. I don't remember what Hiram's is. Where do you get all this taffy anyway? Swell try, Gabby never reveals her source. Oh yes, this is just the dilapidated store. Nothing in the garbage even. What? You stop dead in your tracks when you see three of those weird fishmen lurking in the mouth of an alley up ahead. They're peering around with their glistening, staring eyes and garbling, gurbling, gurbling at each other quietly until one of them notices you. It and its two companions start stalking around you, making wet growling sounds. Ah, oh, jeez. What even are you guys? Um. I'm gonna fight them. Are you evil invaders? Are you natives that were displaced by urban development, seeking to reclaim what's rightfully yours? Evil? Okay, thanks. As long as we're on the same page. I don't know if I should stop. I'll fight him. I'll fight him. Well, this was a bad move. <laughs> um. Titty. 
What? Did you do that again? I'm super delayed. No one ever expects a small titty. No one ever expects a small titty. No one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. Cool, that's taken care of. Um. Yeah. Punch him. Good job. Man, she really can make a fist. Oh my god, is our turtle gonna last through his first fight, you guys? Oh my goodness. He did! We got a fishman sphere. Sp spear, rather. Uh, if you were smaller, this would be a normal spear. If you were bigger, it would be a dart. At the current size, it's kind of like a javelin, I guess? Click three bleeding. Interesting. And a bucket of churn. Um, bucket contains a feast fit for a king, as long as the king is some kind of disgusting fish kingdom. King of a disgusting fish kingdom, and his throne is a gross toilet. <laughs> gross. Right. Kepi's got a jingle toy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, what is regular house? Oh, is that? That's. That was the tentacle house. Now it's just regular house. Oh, yay. Another discarded saw hot dog. My fucking favorite. Okay, we've gotten like a little bit of XP. Some amateur has penned a wild bon mot on the wall of a bathroom stall. You smile, but do not laugh. Make the bon mot bon mottier. <laughs> Now that'll get the bathroom goers roaring. Perfect. I think that's all we needed. Just those five. Oh my god, we're fucking too short. I wish I could get in there. Okay, we'll find something on the way to the fridge factory. We're so close. I'm not paying these assholes 300. We're going to have to wander a bit. Oh my god. I'm not buying another paperclip from you. No. I don't need a paperclip today. You're passing all right. Off <laughs> passing on the offer of a lifetime. But that's all right. That's all right. I got a good feeling about next time I see you. I'll be in the antique store next door. You turn a street corner and the duck behind a mailbox just in time to avoid being spotted by a three tin lizzies who are either squatting on a stoop or stooping on a squat. It's eavesdrop. I'm bored. When's the last time we had a good rumble? Ages, but we got a non-aggressive pact with the doughboys. Big Liz wouldn't like it if we messed that up. What about the Glocklands? Want to fight some of them? They're too weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lean in. Oh, God. Uh... What? I can't hear you with that helmet on. Are you eating something under there? <laughs> give them what they want. Let's give them a fight. Oh, shit. Thanks, Turt. Alrighty. Let's do some damage. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Let's save Turt. Nice. No! <laughs> oh, I thought he was going for Turt. I'll take the poison, that's fine. Ouchie.
Good job, Turt. Man, it's so nice to see him participating. <laughs> Man, that is so OP. These fights are ridiculously later on late ridiculously easy later on, and by later on I mean in the next chapter. Sometime I sometimes grind my XP here. Oh, that might be a good idea. Um Okay, we can't throw a rock or anything, so we'll just do this. I take it to grind XP here, you would have to do a bunch of fights and not progress to chapter two until you have a lot of XP. Is that how it works? No! Oh my god, he lived. Man, look at him. Badass turtle. Oh, sure. Save yourself, turt. Nice. There it is. Turt's stronger. Uh, oh, we unlocked the Tin Lizzie's Shop Shop. Concealing yourself behind a trash bin, you wait until the Tin Lizzie's regain consciousness and limp away. Quietly tail them back to their back alley chop shop. That presumably is their gang hideout. Back alley chop shop is fun to say. During chapter two, prior to chapter three. Ah, okay. Uh, let's investigate the chop shop. You managed to sneak up into the Tin Lizzie's hideout without anyone noticing. You aren't going to stay unnoticed for long, though. This is the place is crawling with Lizzie's. Unless your first move is to turn tail and run, I guess. Cool. Hooray! I'm air freshener. Indigenous device uh, consists of cardboard tree soaked in some kind of nice smelling oil. All right, first things first, we can do this now. Yes. Maybe we don't. Maybe we come back. Because we can finally take on the factory. Oh. You pass by two young women wearing grease-stained coveralls and welding masks, and they're slouching against a wall sharing a cigarette. They glare at you as you pass. Isn't that bastard the aluminum M Mag Maggie? The bastard that aluminum Maggie was telling us about. Oh, they're gonna weld my, my tailpipe shut again. Oh, of course we get the Mondo spider. Um... This is gonna be bad. Yes. I'll give it everything I got. A tiny bonk. Man, spider's a real MVP though. Yeah. I am not dealing with 12 damage. Look at the spider, it took one and I took three. Lizzie's to not fight the Lizzie's and ended up fighting Lizzie's anyway. <laughs> Everybody remained alive. Incredible. Hand washing gasoline. Increases damage of your magical attack weapons by three. Tin Lizzie's hands get really dirty. The only thing that really works is to clean them with gasoline. What? Face grease. A 50-50 mixture of engine oil and moisturizer 
Useful in both skincare regimen and two-stroke engine. Good. Okay. All right. We are now poised to make a deal. I'm tempted to try the fight. I'm going to try the fight out of curiosity. We're probably going to die, but that's fine. We're absolutely going to die. Bless you. I didn't sneeze. Was it the noise the spider made? Oh shit. It's everybody? Spider got you. Nice. Oh no. Gabby! Not sure if it was a sneeze or a sound effect. I'm pretty sure it was a sound effect. Um. Wait, I only hit for four now? Oh no, they just have armor. Plus six to all stats? What the fuck? Why do they keep just getting beefier? That's not fair. Oh man. Oh man. This is bad news bears. Wish I could resurrect people. Um, that guy will get taken out by poison, so I'm gonna bleed one of these guys, I guess. This is, this is not gonna go well. Man, if you can't take him out in the first round. Aloof! You lost that fight, but you don't even care. Water off the duck's back. Ugh. He lost that. He totally lost that fight on purpose. You don't even care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. I'll pay a hundred then. Gee, Mister, I'd love to join, but I'd never had that much scratch. Would you take a hundred? Ah, normally I wouldn't. I wouldn't normally agree to that, but you seem like a good kid. Sure. Why not? Thanks. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. What the fuck? A fop bum egg. Oh yeah, fop bum egg. Yeah, yeah, I remember that acronym. Um, Ring marks you as a member of the elite society of people who pay bribes to extort criminals. No, exonerate criminals in order to achieve your non-criminal goals. Three to five extra meat after combat. Oh, nice. Here's your membership ring. Hand your ring. The whole group of mobsters wander off, dibbering up the meat as they go. This is uh, this organization is actually real. Fapa Meg, come check out the factory. All right, refrigerator trucks, huh? What the fuck is going on over here? I'm a picket. Frosty flakes. Hmm. What? I had a fishing prompt. Fish in the pool of chemicals. Yes. Miscellaneous chemicals, perfect. Stick to these. Refrigeration oil, nice. A pool of chemicals, oh, okay. Oh, toolbox. Self-adhesive rivets, add plus one physical armor to a pair of pants, oh, nice. And a piece of scrap metal, give your target shielded, which will cause them to ignore the next time they take damage. Huh. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, opening this door would make a lot of noise and draw a lot of attention. Also, you don't want, know actually how to open it. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop. 
Uh, and we will find out more about the refrigeration factory uh, next time. Um, thanks so much for being here with me, guys, for some more Shadows Over Loathing. I hope to see you all tomorrow for some more. Let's do our thank yous and our goodbyes. And I'll send you guys off to have a wonderful night. Uh, let's, let's get some tunes in here as well. Cool. Broken Princess, thank you again for the follow. Welcome to the Mirrors Heroes. Uh, the next stream will be tomorrow around the same time. Uh, 6 p.m. Am I, in, am I in MST right now? <laughs> 6 p.m. Um, I hope to see you here. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Charles, thank you for the resub. Happy 43 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Um, and that is it for today. Uh, Sa Vod Sassy, hello. I hope you had a good time. Uh, Air, I hope you got your sink fixed. Well, I assume it's a sink. Sink, toilet, bathroom, whatever. And uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you all tomorrow for some more loathing. <laughs>